It's about to go down. That's right, we're at the BET Experience Celebrity Basketball Game, where some of your faves are set to hit the hardwood to entertain the fans, and of course, give it their best shot. It was the shot callers versus the ballers, and for the first half, it looked like Fat Joe's team of underdogs, led by Trevor Jackson, would take the W. I'm assisting Fat Joe. He's a very strong coach, as you can see. You know, our team was considered the underdog when we came in, and it's looking good. But before long, the shot callers, led by Chris Brown and the game, tied the score up. And by the end, it all came down to a buzzer beater shot that caused a bit of debate. <laughs> Much to the chagrin of Coach Joe, the shot only counted as a three-pointer, leaving the ballers two points shy of a tie. Game over. We were robbed. And I, I, brought, I, brought, I brought my hitter in here, and she don't like it. I, I personally know, I've watched him, you know, win Rutgers games and all type of celebrity basketball games repeatedly. I know if they didn't win today, some type of gurry was going on. Some type of gurry uh -oh. is going on. Listen. Fat Joe can be mad, he has to take the L. The fact of the matter is if you watch the game, he was wide open because he wasn't in the five point area. So it was his fault taking the shot, just, just a regular three. Shout out to the game and Breezy who were co-MVPs. But aside from the thrilling basketball game, the BET experience also offered a host of events like their highly anticipated Genius Talks. Because I always walk into any place as, as the black woman and queen that, I, that my mother taught me to be. And performances on the Coca-Cola stage. It was really great. I feel like the crowd was so awesome. Such a great um, energy, and I'm ready to do it again. You know, I wish I could jump back up there, but it was really great. I mean, you know, I'm always proud of my kids. You know, especially my firstborn. She's out here doing her thing, doing what she loves. Yeah. And Tiny wasn't on hand only to support her daughter. She was also prepping for Escape's triumphant return to the stage. So you can definitely expect some real, true vocals, man. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna be, you know, we're gonna do a couple little hits, uh, a little medley for you, and uh, you know, we're gonna get on out of there. But um. It's gonna be, I think it's gonna be a great show, you know what I'm saying? I hope you like it. It's a wrap here from the BET Experience, but the weekend isn't over yet. The fun continues when the BET Awards air Sunday, June 25th, on where else but BET. For HipHollywood.com, I'm Vanessa Barnett.